One of the most fascinating conspiracies that I hear, and welcome to House Sparks Mega Worldwide, uh, one of the most fascinating conspiracies that I've heard from the right is that Democrats would rather run somebody else in for 2024. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. And that they <laughs> very possibly planted the documents at Biden's house and his office to try and broom him out. So some people are calling it the Uniparty. I've got a couple of examples to show you today. Where and this this floated as somebody's just fart air fantasy, which is just goofy as shit. But there somebody somebody just like well, I wonder if the if the Dems are just trying to get rid of him because his poll numbers are so bad. Meanwhile, his poll numbers are a going up. Uh, inflation is coming down like right when this is all happening. So it doesn't make any sense. And he's still doing better than Trump was doing ever during this time. So let me remind you of ever. So uh, the person they were like, dear God, Trump's so popular. Well, how will we ever beat him? Uh, Biden ever. Uh, he's, you know, 45 never hit 45. So we know this. Now, I've been, uh, you know, I've been scouring and looking around at who is, I don't know, carrying this bucket of shit and, uh, you know, in this weird relay race of nonsense. And Ron Johnson is on Fox Business. And look at the title of this. Are the Democrats throwing Biden under the bus is his idea. Now, never mind the fact that there's a crucial, I have a problem with this conspiracy that is singular. There is one reason why I don't know why the right would even bring this up. And the main thing is, is because if it's true, then Biden is completely innocent. And we're back to just Trump hoarding documents and fighting the fighting NARA and whatever. Never mind the fact that both Biden and Pence have been completely cooperative. Both of them, after all this stuff with Trump's documents went, we should do a sweep. And make sure we don't have anything. And when they found stuff, they were open with it and they gave it back. And the same thing with, that Pence is doing. Which is total contrast with what is happening with Trump and what happened with Trump. It just, I mean, it, it wasn't the having of the documents that was the, uh, that was the crime. It was the lying about it and fighting it. Fighting, giving them back. Claiming he did classify it, all that bullshit. Which is nonsense. But, like, the contrast between, you know... What Biden and Pence are both doing and what Trump is doing is very stark. But the idea that the Democrats planted this shit on him would literally mean he was not culpable in it at all. Which would, he'd be off the hook, even with right-wing viewers, because they're not they're not saying this to you and me. They're saying it on Fox. They're saying it on Newsmax. They're saying it on Golka. They're saying it wherever there's a fucking mic. And I, I don't get it. Why are they rushing to, I mean, maybe there's some idea. It's it's kind of the same thing when they, they had this real hard time with Biden's not making any of these decisions. He's like a puppet or a marionette and he does whatever the left wants him to do. And then all of a sudden the left wants to get rid of him. and the, Or that uh, Obama and Hillary are really pulling the strings and he's just a puppet, but he's also evil because he's a doe-headed old man who's being controlled. Like, get your fucking conspiracy straight. Stick to something. Jesus. At least be cryptic like Q so it makes some fucking sense. Good Lord. All right, here we go. Senate Homeland Security Senator Ron Johnson. <clears throat> Who uh, looks like you just caught him. Uh, he just looked up from catching his dick in his zipper. I don't. Why so sad, Ron? Why? Good to see you again. Your That's not true. Reaction to the story that classified documents were found in the form of Bryce. Uh Growing concern as detail Hunter Biden email in Ukraine reads like classified briefing. Vice okay. President Pence's home in Indiana. Done, done, done. Hello, Elizabeth. By the way, um, for the record, detail Hunter Biden email on Ukraine reads like classified briefing. For the record, Hunter Biden spent more time in Ukraine than Biden did, than, than his father did. I, I hate to say it, but I'm actually agreeing with uh, Senator Dick Durbin. 
you know, for those of us who serve in Congress, uh, we go down to the SCIF, the secure location. Uh, we have to leave all of our electronics behind. The, the, the people standing right there, did you leave all your electronics behind? Yeah, you're not elected to national office. You don't have the right to declassify stuff, fucko. You're not president or vice president. In the case of the, uh, the Obama White House, Obama signed an executive order allowing the vice president to classify and declassify documents, which technically speaking, by the way, would include Mike Pence, because not only did Trump not rescind that order, meaning that Biden lost that ability, but it also kept that ability for Pence because Trump's a fucking moron. Uh, we check out the classified material. We make sure it's... Yes, and uh, they let us have it for a week, and we're only allowed to check out two at a time. Um, and uh, if we if we talk while we're reading, they go, shh. Check back in. It just never leaves the skiff. And so for, I, I guess, uh, the securities to be so lax in White House, both Democrat and, and Republican, is... It's, it's, it literally is catching all of us off guard. It's surprising all of us. You know, so uh huh. But, but, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead, finish. Sorry. Well, yeah, you, are you worried that maybe along the way that like some documents, like classified notes about your time, I don't know, on the 4th of July in 2018 in Russia, and the reports on that might leak out at some point? Is that the concern? I mean, the, but there are differences. You know, in President Trump's case, he had the capability to unilaterally declassify information. Uh, no, he didn't. And also, he did not, for fuck's sake, ability or not, let's be abundantly clear, Trump in no way, I don't give a fuck what Cash Patel says, made any moves whatsoever to declassify that stuff. And, and here's how we know. Because for a fucking year... In his discussion with Nara, he never brought up, I declassify these things, they're mine. And since they're declassified, you guys could just grab another copy off the fucking uh, servers there and, and store that with your own shit. I declassify it. And, and never brought it up. After the, like when they were hit with a the subpoena, they delivered a red envelope wrapped in tape, which is how you're supposed to handle classified documents in this particular environment outside of any of these things. You, you seal them up. So they basically, if they fall off the boat, they float so you can get them back. They did that. His lawyers returned documents to NARA in classified form, meaning he did not declassify those items, which means he did not in any way offer some sort of blanket declassification. Okay? Didn't do it. Did not fucking do it. Didn't do it. He didn't do it. He only came up with that excuse after he after the, the search and seizure warrant. And his idea, like, oh, how do you know I didn't do it? That's the thing. I'll tell you how. Because there's paperwork that's involved. You can't just magically wave your hand because there's got to be a paper trail of some sort. Again, and the example I give is the president, uh, you know, during Trump's time, he and Cash Patel are in a room full of classified documents. Trump keels over and dies right there on the spot. Cash Patel's the only one in the room, and he's walking out of a room carrying a box. The president died, and they went, what do you got in your hand? He goes, that's ah, just a bunch of stuff. He said it's declassified. How do we know? Well, he said it before he died. He said, yeah. He, he said, just said he did. How do we know? Well, he said it. That's why. That's exactly why. Are you out of your fucking mind? It's just stupid. So, anyways. Uh, Vice President Pence, obviously, uh, wanted well, well, to have this looked into. And yeah, he, he totally did. He wanted to have it looked into, and by it, he means his home in Indiana. It, it certainly seems like uh, you could have your office packed up and moved over, and, okay. you know, I, I, I've got a lot of records as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, Biden wasn't that way at all. Yeah, Biden, it's, it's totally Machiavellian. He did it on purpose. He's being very sneaky. And, you know, and you can tell by his interactions with NARA and with the FBI and the DOJ, he's like, yeah, go for it. Make a special counsel, look into it. Cool. Unlike Trump, who again, fought it for over a year, never brought up that the items were declassified ever at that point until after the search warrant came through and they found shit. And he's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, no, all that stuff. 
All of it. I just magically said when I walked down the stairs that it's magically declassified. I think with President Biden, it's Senate records, it's Vice President records, and I think what's really interesting... Also, by the way, for the record, Senate records. Um, if there's stuff out of the skiff from the Senate, yeah, have at it. However, when he was Vice President, what do you think the chances are that because he was spent time in the Senate, and he was looking at things from a couple of years ago and he went, hey, can you get me this information from 2013? Because we're looking at what's happening pre and post, you know, Russia invasion, that kind of shit. The idea that he would have stuff based on the timeline. Like, who were we talking to at that point? Because there was a guy who said this, get me the records on that. It's like, it's not weird at all. Even during his time as vice president. That, that he would go back. Yeah. Sorry, the mic pops are getting to you. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. I will see what I can do. Check, check. There we go. Is this uh, email that's now being reported about uh, on April 13th. This is three days before uh, Hunter's business partner, partner, Devon Archer, meets with Vice President Biden in the White House before he goes to Ukraine. And it's just laying out all the information yeah. that we would get in, you know, oftentimes secure briefing on a country that we're, we're uh, traveling to. Well, this would be against the It's also everything that was in the fucking news. Law, right? If, all right, so this email from Hunter Biden's laptop, mm -hmm. Miranda Devine found it. And to your point, it goes to Hunter's business partner, Devin Archer, about a week before then Vice President Biden was going to travel to Ukraine. It was about how to cash in and make money off of Ukraine. It's classified information about Ukraine, Senator. It's got 22 detailed bullet points. And so it, it, wouldn't it be against the law to have this information? When you read the email, it sure... By the way, this looks like shit from a, the Rand Corporation. We've seen these reports before. They're posted on fucking line. It does sound like a classified brief. It does. It sounds like it. It so sounds like it. It sounds like like it's so professional. Like I thought he was all cracked out. I would thought I would think it would said it, it, there were to be like wouldn't they type his like coughs in? Briefing. Well, if it was classified, yes. What I can say about what I read is, you know, again, we get these scene setters all the time as we travel overseas. This is a lot. Yeah, when's, when's the last time you went? Was it just that time when you went for the July 4th trip to Russia with no note takers present in your private meeting with Vladimir Putin, which you still won't talk about what was said? A lot more detailed, has a lot more information than anything I've ever seen in a scene setter. So it wouldn't surprise me at the time that that might have been classified information. Uh, but again, what it at the time now it's stuff you'd see in the New York Times lays out is exactly how the Bidens profited off their family name. I mean, they, they no, it fucking well doesn't. They were basically, you know, Hunter was laying this out for Devin, who was uh, going to be meeting with his father, going to be meeting with uh, officials from Burisma, basically showing them you pay us millions of dollars. This is ki the kind of information you're going to have access to because of our connection to the vice president. I mean, it by the way, um, I was talking this morning about Apoa, my Apoa phone when I was in China. If you're going to any place, any foreign country where you're going to spend any length of time, and especially if, you, especially if it's a place that has like sketchy politics, get a fucking burner phone. Nobody's that stupid. Just, of course you're going to have one. The, your real one from home, as soon as you land, if not before, shut it off and leave it off. It is just sleazy. It is corrupt. It's apparently well-informed and material to his job. Uh, but this is what Chuck Grassley and I have been warning the American public against for two years. But the main... Yeah, he, that's that thousand paper fucking thing that they put out, the report, which was just all of Chuck Grassley and Ron Johnson's little papers all like stapled together. Street media is basically ignored. Uh... Yeah, because there's no there there. And just shrug. Email from Hunter Biden to Devin Archer, April 30th. And by the way, uh, citation needed. I, again, if they're sourcing this, because the picture is of a laptop, which does not exist, by the way. Um, and by the way, I had no idea the laptop was so clean and came with a mouse and also a notepad in case you were taking down. You were, you were like, what crime was I criming? I forgot my crime. I hate doing that, Charles. Charles, I forgot my crime. Well, I did write it down. I typed it in, make a real note, a physical note. You're just a Luddite. All right, I'll make, give me a little, get a little pad. When you, next time you go to CBS, get me a little notepad I can put beside the computer. 
and I'll have and I need another mouse because these track pads are beyond me. You know, Hunter's email to your point was about Ukraine oil and energy. Ukraine. Yeah, he worked for Burisma, dumb fuck. Burisma paid Hunter nearly a million bucks a year to sit on the board. Is it striking that the president and his family are trying to profit off of foreign energy deals, including with China and Ukraine, as the president now tries to under is undercutting U.S. energy? Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, because China was going to replace America's oil and gas industry, as is Ukraine's oil and gas. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> you do realize the only like. It's Russian oil and gas that's being cut. You realize that China is an importer of oil and gas. Fuck. Well, it's sleazy. Not only it's totally sleazy. Uh, just because it's sleazy. Sleazy is a good word. You don't have to actually, it doesn't have to mean anything. Is it striking? It's sleazy. But, mm -hmm. Elizabeth, I have to point out again, there were news reports, uh, uh, stories written about Biden, Inc., well before he became vice president and certainly before he became president. But the media just completely ignored it, which shows how corrupt. Yeah, it, you know why? Because he didn't have like nine fucking golf courses paid for with Deutsche Bank loans bought at a time when nobody was buying fucking golf courses because they're a dead end. And basically, uh, you know, the, the best thing you could say for owning a golf course in the United States at any given time, if it's not one just for the use on television, is that it's a money laundering and, and, and I would argue a, a, a space for corrupt businessmen to talk freely. And complicit the mainstream, most of the mainstream media is as well. So you and Senator Grassley are asking for the White House, the White House to release the visitor logs to the president's properties, his think tank. Secret Service had had visitor logs to the Wilmington home. So what about the Senate records at the University of Delaware? Oh, this probably all has to be looked into. Yeah, probably, probably, yeah, probably ought to look at that. Um, how about this? You, we'll give you those. You, they'll come up with those. You give us a recording of your private meeting with Putin. We'll get it translated. Uh, th this investigation is widening. Uh, I, again, I, I just think uh, the way the president has handled this and his team is just bizarre. Yeah, it's just so bizarre where they found some stuff and called Nara and said, here's some stuff. Go look at anywhere else we have where there might be other stuff. And if there is any, return it. Yeah, it's shocking. I, I, I can't imagine. And to, by the way, in, in, in point of fact, in deference to Ron Johnson, someone actually doing their job when they found either they've made a mistake or something's misplaced or they find something that shouldn't be out, actually following through and doing what you're supposed to must sound bizarre to Ron Johnson. And the reason behind it is oh sorry about the popping i don't know why that is it's going to be weird for me um is it the audio on the video now just being a jerk i'm sorry but um the the reason ron johnson's going to have a hard time you know fat, why it seems sleazy to him is that nobody does anything without an ulterior motive he has to be complying with the law and the rules because of some He's got some ulterior motive. If, if you know you've got some classified documents, you know, you should do mm -hmm. what Mike Pence apparently did was, well, let's search to see whether I might have something inadvertent. That's exactly what Biden did. That is exactly what Biden did. It is precisely exactly like, oh, for fuck's sake. In my possession, uh, in terms of uh, President Biden, this doesn't look like inadvertent possession here. Yeah. This looks like a pattern he had for years, well, taking his classified information just not to... Uh, taking good care. Look, Mike Pence just didn't have access. So, uh, so whatever. He was just as bad as Biden on the jump. Right. I mean, a garage is not a skiff. I mean, the New York Times no. and Washington Post. You sure about that? I mean, he was able, uh, B Obama gave him the right to classify and declassify if Mar-a-Lago is a fortress. Why isn't Biden's garage a skiff at this point? This is both, they're both reporting the Biden team pushed to keep all of this quiet before the midterms so it would not trigger... No. <laughs> they just handled it. Somebody, uh, um, yeah, find out if this alleged Hunter Biden. Yeah, well, that it's an email is the center of this. Because, again, the email they're showing 
I don't buy it for a fucking second. There is no Hunter Biden laptop. Prove me wrong. What I will say, and that's why it says sleazy. It's why it doesn't say criminal. It's why it doesn't say anything that's material. He uses the word sleazy for a specific reason. Because it's no, it, it, there's no definition of it on a legal basis. The president's own special counsel criminal probe. But then the president says he had, quote, us no regrets that were in his garage and house in Delaware. We've got more Senate and House Delaware. No, he said he has no regrets about how they handled it. This is just silly. Democrats expressing alarm, Senator. You're talking to Senator Tester, Joe Manchin, Tim Kaine, Ro Khanna. Uh, Nancy Pelosi is now going negative on a Biden 2024 race. You're fine. Yes, totally. Yeah, they, they, I, they're folding. I think they're after him. Yeah. Final word. Well, is this the Democrats finally throwing this president who deserves it, uh, just throwing him under the bus? Uh, possibly. They, they may have made that political calculation, say, well, this would be a good thing uh, to vary everybody's attention against uh, uh, the high energy prices, gasoline prices, inflation. Uh, let, let's uh, get rid of Joe Biden this way. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand. All right. Again, Nancy Pelosi liberated and loving it. They're asking her, is age an issue? Yes. Because he's going to be the, he would be the oldest person running for president ever. Does Pelosi think Biden is the only one who could beat Trump in 2024? No, I think we have other, other what? Of course there are other people that can beat Trump. Trump's a fucking mess. And their political calculations, but this whole story. We have other great candidates when the time comes. Totally true. If Biden decided to not run, which is the other thing, like, oh no, if we, if, if Biden decides not to run, we, we're basically just handing it to Trump. Imagine the fucking headlines if she just said that, because that's the alternative. Or he's just bizarre. Senator, but it, you know. Bizarre we and sleazy. Sleazy, bizarre, and sleazy, bizarre. And you look at the timeline, and you, we've talked about and reported on it. The Hunter Biden, the Biden family deal making, it intersects and syncs up. It syncs up with the classified document record. No, it doesn't. Uh, mishandling of it by the president. It look, look, notice, look, <laughs> that was quick. Timeline of U.S. mishandling of U.S. secrets in sync with Biden family deal making. No, alleged deal making of which there was none. P Tony Bobulinski was mad because he was trying to peddle influence through Hunter Biden and failed miserably. It, it's it, it jibes it, with it. it. Totally jibes. It's a jibey thing. It does. Jibey and jibey and sleazy. So interesting about this uh, April 13, 2014, uh, email because which isn't real. All those things happened with Burisma again. Media no, they didn't. With the, the I honestly, I'm not going to, there is no point in taking any of the emails that supposedly come from the laptop seriously. There are none. Even if 80% of an email is real, six sentences could be added to the fucking thing, changing the entire meaning or, uh, uh, you know, creating room for allegations like this shit. And dickheads like him know there's no metadata they can track down through these things. So he says stuff like sleazy and, 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 uh, and he could just skate on it because it doesn't, it's not going to actually turn into anything. None of the stuff that's allegedly from this, the fucking laptop, hard drive, laptop, hard drive named laptop, um, is ever going to see the inside of a courtroom. Yeah. The vice president in the White House, the appointment of uh, Hunter and Devin to the board of Burisma, all this stuff happened in, in April of 2014. Uh, it's way more than a coincidence. It's weird. Uh, it's way more than a coincidence that Russia hacked Burisma um, right before Trump ran for office, and then again. So, got it, Senator Ron Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining us. So, so great.